Hello everybody. How is everybody doing? Praise God for another day, brothers and sisters. God is truly good. God is truly good. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and always be glad in it because God is truly good. With everything that is going on, brothers and sisters, in the world on today, we know that God is good. God is so good. I just wanted to jump on here really, really quick, brothers and sisters. Um, if you all don't know, I'm sure you all know that there is a global outage of Microsoft all over the world, globally. Microsoft is down. I got the news report early this morning. Emergency services says 911 lines are down in several states as a mass IT outage causes havoc. Microsoft is down globally, brothers and sisters. Global tech outage hits airlines, banks, healthcare, and public transportation. So airlines are going through a lot of things where their flights are canceled. People are in the airport, canceled flights. It's just terrible. Brothers and sisters, this lets us know what time it is. This has to let us know that it is time. We are on the cusp of the rapture. We are literally on the cusp of the rapture. I believe it with all my heart. I truly believe that. No man knows the day nor the hour, but we can clearly, clearly see with everything going on in this world today that we are on the cusp of the rapture, that things are changing, God is moving, God is not playing. He is not playing around. He is not playing around with humans, with mankind, with this world. He's not playing. He's giving people space and time to come to him, to repent. And if people can't see this, I don't know what to say. I don't know what else to say except I pray for you. If you can't see what this is, this is not a mistake. It's not a coincidence. Everything happens for a reason. Every little thing happens for a reason. And for this to go out on today, what is today? Friday, July, what is today? The 19th. I'm not sure what the date is. Today is Friday, brothers and sisters. And all this is happening on today. Today, brothers and sisters. God is good and he's warning people. This is a warning. This is a sign. We must wake up. We have to see what this is. Be a perfect time, don't you think, for something to happen? Whoever is plotting and planning and scheming against the United States of America, this would be a perfect time, don't you think, huh? 911 is down in several states, and I don't know when it's going to come back up. I don't know. With this global Microsoft outage causing havoc, wreaking havoc, Delaying flights, stopping, canceling flights all over the place. This is a sign. God is warning us that we must be ready. We have to be ready. Time is short. Time is running out. Do you hear me? Time is running out. There is no time. There's no time to play. There's no time to, to, to dawdle and waddle in sin. We have to repent, seek the Lord, have a relationship with Jesus. If there's anything you've done that you know is not pleasing to the Lord, repent. Ask the Lord to forgive you and don't do it anymore. That's all there is to it. Because Jesus does not want anyone to perish. That's why he's giving everybody time and space. But brothers and sisters, whoever you are, if you're viewing this video, Time is going to run out. You don't have forever. You have to seek the Lord now if you want to go to heaven. If you want to be with Jesus, the gospel of Jesus Christ is that our Lord and Savior died for our sins. Jesus Christ of Nazareth was born of a virgin womb, a virgin woman, Mary. 
He was born of her. He came into this world. He lived. He perished on that cross. He took our sins. He was brutally crucified. But on the third day, that's the gospel, on the third day, hallelujah, he rose. He rose from the grave with all power in his hands. And he is alive forevermore. He took our sin debt, a debt that we could not pay on our own. Not through our works, not through being the nicest person in the whole wide world. You could not repay that sin debt. So Jesus took it upon himself to take your place on that cross. To bear your sins. And he took it and he took it and he never said a mumbling word. He was brutally crucified. But on the third day he rose from the grave, from the dead, and he is alive forevermore so that you and I could have eternal life. And how do you have eternal life? You repent of your sins. You say, Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me for my sins. I desire to live holy and to live for you. I renounce sin. I renounce anything that is not pleasing to you, Lord. And I desire to walk the straight and the narrow path. Today, Lord Jesus Christ, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in your death, burial, and resurrection. And I want to have eternal life with you. Come into my life, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart now. I receive you into my heart. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And you shall be saved believe repent 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 is very important not just believe repent don't do it don't do those sinful things anymore put it away if you truly love the lord you will do what he wants you to do you will do what he wants you to do and what does he want you to do to not sin against him anymore every time you sin it's like another nail in his hand each and every time, think of it that way. It's like a nail in his feet, a nail in his hands. You're crucifying him all over again. Do not sin against our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Repent, turn from sin. And if you fall short, if you make a mistake because you're only human, we're only human. God knows. Just repent, get up. Don't lay there. Don't waddle in sin. Turn around, repent, go the other way. And seek Jesus every single day, every single day. Call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because it is He alone how we are saved. We are only saved through the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by Him. It has to be through Jesus. It has to be through Jesus. Not Buddha, not Muhammad, not Allah, not anybody else. Nobody else took your sin debt. Nobody but Jesus. And he is the one we must trust and look to and give our lives to. Just invite the Lord into your heart. He is so good. He is so faithful. He's waiting for you. He's waiting for you. So come to Jesus today because time is short. If you leave your body and perish and pass away without Jesus, you will not be going to heaven. Let me tell you the truth. You will not be going to heaven if you pass this life without receiving Jesus. You will be in hell. Hell will be your portion. And I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to mix words and butter it up and make it sound pretty. You will be going to hell without Jesus Christ if you do not receive Jesus. So you choose. The choice is yours. God gives us all free will. God does not want robots. He's not going to make you or force you. He is so sweet and so gentle. When you hear that tug on your heart, that's the Lord. Come, come very gentle. He's not forceful. He's gentle and kind and loving. And you can believe me when I tell you that God is good. He's so good. He's good. He's good. He's always good. He's never going to stop being good. When things go wrong, he's still good. When you don't get what you want, he's still good. Through the trials, through the tribulation, through the ups and the downs, everybody goes through it. God is still good. Yes, he's good. He's good. 
Praise him through the circumstances. Praise him through your ups and your downs. Praise him through it all and you shall be blessed. I'm a living witness that God is good. God saved my life through multiple car accidents, through bad relationships. Hallelujah. When the enemy tried to take me out, God saved my life. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He delivered me from a life of sin and shame and fornication. I am no longer that woman. I am a new creature in Christ. And I am living for the Lord Jesus Christ. I am living for the Lord. The former things are passed away. I am a new woman. I'm a new creature in Christ. And I owe that all to the Lord Jesus Christ who saved a wretch like me. And if he could do it for me, I'm here to tell you he could do it for you too. He will do it for you. Believe, trust, have faith, and repent. Repent is so important. So important. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Believe and receive the Lord Jesus Christ on today. Because all these signs, everything that is happening in the world, through the wars, through the rumors of wars, through the attempted assassination of former President Trump, all these things, how God made a miracle, God proved himself, he showed a miracle to the whole world on that day when he spared President Trump's life. He did it right before our eyes. That was a miracle that he did not perish. It was a miracle. And God is still in the miracle working business. Let me tell you, he's the same God. He does not change. So if you are watching this video and you do not know Jesus, I implore you today to come to Jesus today. And I promise you, I'm a witness that God is good. He's good and he loves you so much. If he could save me, he can save you. He will save you because he loves you. Okay, I just felt led to come and tell somebody today to look around and see what is happening. Do not be sleeping. All these things going down right now, any moment, the Lord Jesus Christ can come and receive his church because the church is not appointed to wrath. And when all hell breaks loose, really breaks loose on this earth, and I'm talking about nuclear, the church will not be here. I believe that. I believe God's word that we are not appointed to wrath. He will come and receive his bride, his church, his believers, his followers, the ones who love him. You think he's going to really leave us here to go through the great tribulation, to go through the pure hell on earth that is to come? No, that is not the God that I serve. I know the Lord Jesus Christ myself, and I know that he's good. He's a good father. He's a good father. He is good. And just like a parent would not leave their child alone, to have them go through pure hell alone, do you really think the Lord would do that to his children? No, he will not. He loves us more than our own parents love us. He loves us more than anyone could know. And he loves you. So I just want you to be encouraged. Look up. Look at the signs. Look up. Because our redemption draweth nigh. We are close. We are on the cusp of the rapture. To be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. And I hope and pray that this message blesses you. Encourages you. And that you will continue to seek the Lord. If you are already saved. God bless you. And continue to hold on to Jesus. Because we are at the end, brothers and sisters. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you all, if it's the Lord's will, until we talk again. Have a blessed day. And remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. God bless. God bless.